All right, what is on the agenda? Okay, first of all, we've got to start clearing out this. We want to be wary not to, to you know, create a cave-in. I mean, who would be stupid enough to, to, to make a cave-in? Am I right? Yeah. 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 So we're going to just start off real simple. Start clearing out some of this mountain here. Tantrum. Serious pain. You're not going to stop beating the walls, are you? Oh, please. We just fixed them, Jet. Clara. Well, once you're done with that, pick up one of any number of guns that are just lying about, about the place. I don't know what parents are talking about when they say that, you know, keeping guns around the house is a bad thing and that your kid could shoot yourself. We've got a whole room filled with guns and no one has shot themselves yet. Maybe they've wanted to, but they haven't done it, so you know. Thank you, Bear. If I didn't have you here, it would be unbearable. Hey, oh. Whoa. Ooh. You know, you can take your clothes off when you go to bed. I mean, like the hats. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit... a bit sick. Oh, oh. Okay. Harrison, you know what to do, being the only sociable person in the group. The only problem I find is that, you know, Harrison's a misogynist. So we get him to talk to people, but then he's espousing his opinions about women and turning them off. Psychic ship. Oh shit. Right. Uh. What? Alright everyone, we're all drafted now. And we're all gonna fire at the fucking shit. Great. Okay, that was fucking fabulous, ladies. More problems, problems, problems. Always problems. Oh, great, there's a fucking fire. Now everyone's mood is down. It's like, oh, well, we killed the psychic ship, but I'm just not feeling it. Man. And that's the worst, when you... You should feel a sense of achievement, but you can't. Ambrosia binge, good. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. You know what? Oh. <sighs> yeah, you breathe the fire out. Please. Like, we don't want any of these walls to catch a, f a flame. That would be very upsetting. So half our colony is mad. Don't do it. Oh, we can't put out the fire because Harrison's showing his gun. No! That's not a euphemism. He's a misogynist. He'd never touch a woman. Only to hit her. He's tried many times to touch um, Mowgli, but it's just not been in his favour. Because, you know, she's married. Thank you, Harrison. Eating some berries. I hope you don't get food poisoning from those berries. You could just, you know, eat the food that we have on offer. You'll come to love it eventually. Just imagine that humans taste like chicken, and all your problems will go away. Bulk goods trader. Turkey. Yes, we could. Let's get rid of them. Jesus Christ. Bless you, and goodbye. And Turkey. Multi analyzer. We we've, we're pretty much on the go now. We've got just about everything we need. Transport pod crash. 
A glitter world surgeon named Jackson is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Jackson, how are you doing? Bio. He's not... He's actually a quite well-rounded individual, if not for the fact that he's dumb as fuck. Learns minus 35%. Alright. I should really be more sentimental about my pets. Like, I just sold Jesus Christ without even thinking about it to Pontius Pilate. Oh my gosh, I am Judas. How could I do this? Don't kill me for heresy. It's not my fault. He fetched a pretty price, and I paid too much for him. The only miracle he worked was being in our colony as long as he was, without getting sold. Oh, okay. So, anecdotes to tell, since we've got some free time on our hands. Uh, I went down with my friend to this school we used to go to. Just a local school, you know. And uh, we just went down there occasionally to muck around, have a chat, and just do typical kid stuff. You don't want to be in the house all the time, so you just kind of move around and go here and there. and Just like, there's no purpose for it, it's just, why not, right? So we decided to go down to the school, and in the spirit of the ultimate why not, uh, we started uh, banging around on just certain objects. I don't know why we were doing it, we were just like trying to get into the place. <coughs> I believe he was, um, yes, he was trying to jump the fence, because why not, right? And uh, I was just banging on the lock a bit, because I was having a bit, a bit of a spastic time. Uh, mock banging on the lock to just make a joke. Uh, we're trapped, we're trapped. Uh, and it was a weekend, so, you know, there was nothing wrong with this. And we just kept doing that, and he was about to climb the fence, and suddenly two teachers come out and go, Oi! And he went, Oh, fuck me! And r immediately just ran out of there as fast as our little leg legs would carry us. And the teachers I knew. I have ruined my relationship with them forevermore, unfortunately. What other anecdotes? Um, so I was at the shop, not the shops, I was at the cinema this one time, and I went, I was there because I was uh, looking at these student films. Um, because I was part of the, a media class, and they just said, if you're making a film, why not go see some some of the, the best films in the, uh, well, available to you, really. Um, see where you can learn from these people's triumphs and mistakes. So I thought, okay, I have some spare time, I'll go along. Uh, the time to meet up was 5.30. I was kind of milling around thinking, it's 5.30. It's 5.33. It's 5.40. It's 5.45. Have I got the right cinema? Is this, this the right time? Like, where are my group? We're supposed to be meeting up at the cinema so we can catch the, the student films. And they're just not there. So I just kind of wade around and I'm finding things to do. I'm a bit bored, so I'm just kind of tapping and banging around on things. On the In the background, they're playing the latest Michael Bay film and there's all just explosions and... Whoa! I'm a bad director! That's actual dialogue in the film. It's unbelievable. I can't believe how self-aware he is sometimes. But anyway, so that was all going on, and I'm just kind of walking around looking at the screens. And I catch out of the corner of my eye this strange sight, you might say. It's just this this woman, and I, I get the distinct feeling I'm being looked at. And I'm like, I don't want to be rude, I suppose, so I just won't make a point of it. But, you know, time was going on, and I make a couple of phone calls to see, and I'm like, no, no, they, they should be there, they should be there, so I thought, oh. Well, they're not. I'm just kind of milling around, and then finally, at last, it, this woman... Oh, fuck my solar flare. Great. Um, this woman... She stops me, and she says, Hey. Oh. Hello. She's like, Why you keep looking at me? So... I didn't want to be histrionic or start a fight. I don't know. My immediate response was just to be really congenial and say, oh, I wasn't looking at you, but I was a bit too nervous for that. 
And so I just said, um, oh no, I'm, I'm not. And then she says, oh, did my husband send you? No, and what do you say to that? So I just kind of went, no. Oh, you know, he's always watching me. I thought, oh my God, what have I done? Who am I looking at? She's got these these eyes that are all wiry, wiry and red because they're, they're bloodshot. And I thought, is it crack? What, what is happening right now? Mm. No, Neville. Oh, no. Oh, no. Neville, no. That's terrible. Oh, God. She just keeps looking at me and she's drilling into me like like she's trying to find something in my my very soul and, I, and she keeps going on a little while but since I, I i don't really fight her on the points and say no i didn't do that i just kind of play along she starts telling me her life story and about how they're always watching them and how the government it, i wish i was kidding it's not she said oh they're all they're always watching me they come around and they're black vans and they They've got their earphones in, though. They've always got their earphones in. And sunglasses. Sunglasses, so you, you can't... So you can't see their eyes. And I thought, oh, my God. She, she started getting on to the philosophy in her life uh, that we're all energy and that her mum used to be alive and she is now a car. <laughs> it's ten minutes or so have passed and I'm too afraid to say... I gotta go. So I stand here and listen to her and as she talks about her other children, not her children, her mother's children, her sisters. But before I get the chance to, to leave, I, I do have the curiosity enough to ask her, what are you doing here? She says, I'm looking for the newspapers. It's a cinema. I don't know what she was talking about it was uh, a scary day indeed <laughs> turns out that the, the people I was supposed to be with were at a cafe nearby I think we could get this game done in a couple more episodes it's a shame I, I do like playing this game I just know that it's not like the most interesting game to watch like and that's not on, the onus isn't on the viewer to to make themselves enjoy the video, right? Like if it, if it's just not an interesting game to see, then it's just not an interesting game to see. Uh, I notice some of your traps. That's a lot. You have brought this upon yourself. That is a mighty shame. Oh. No, not my pet. I work restrict um, animals. Okay. Looks like we're bringing the fight to them so it doesn't get killed. Okay. Vort, rescue the dumb animal. That was really easy. Like, exceptionally easy. Orange, how are you? Health. Uh, bio. Uh, you're okay, but you're not really worth saving, are you? I guess you are. We're fleeing. Now they're fleeing? Oh no. Why do they do this? They could probably start going for uh, 
the the last bits and just take off. Manhunter pack. Red foxes. Oh my god. This might be more of a problem than we thought. Okay, we've got the backup squad. Now let's get... Vort, are you okay? Vort needs... Everyone is now... Off the case. Oh, you've got a little case of the man flu, have you? Oh no. Whatever will we do? All right, um, I think that's about a, as good a place as any to leave it. Uh, so next episode, we will get some more advanced components on the go. Uh, and we might even get off this goddamn planet. That's a thought, isn't it? That is a thought.